Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. A while back on a live stream, we built the Coffee and Ham Radio's Aries 9 to 1 antenna. Today I gotta get an element wire measured out, cut and put on it, and I gotta get it on the air. So what better way to do it than in a park, at a parks on the air, in the air conditioning, because it's 90 degrees outside in Texas right now. I'm gonna try and do a little bit of hunting You'll see that doesn't work out very well. Then we're gonna get a very quick 10 contacts on an activation side of things. And we're gonna get this park done. Let's get after it. We're gonna improvise a little bit today on how to get the antenna wire measured out for the Aries antenna. This is our nine to one and it requires a random wire, which just means not resonant. It doesn't actually mean random. It's very specific length at 41 feet. Let me show you what I got going on here. If you build a lot of antennas, you're gonna to wanna to get a pretty big tape measure. This one is measured in meters and inches, and it is 165 foot long or 50 meters long, which is plenty for what we're doing because we only need 41 feet of it. And then over here, I have a ginormous carabiner that I got from Harbor Freight attached to the underside of the picnic table here. And then I have another small carabiner so that I can get my wire and my tape measure on there. I've already prepared the top end of the antenna by folding it over and using some of our glue lined heat shrink to create a hook that we're gonna to use to hold on to the top of our mast or a tree or whatever the case may be. And then this is that tape measure that I showed you from before. And it measures from the tip here, which is gonna be the same tip as the wire, you know, close enough. And you can see it starts out at five inches, which that from there up to the hook is five inches. So now we need to go 41 feet out. There's 43, 42, 41. And if I pull them both equally tight, I can cut it right there on the 41 foot mark. And then when we cut it there, that leaves us plenty of wire left over for our counterpoise, or even more than one counterpoise, counterpie. I know, I know, I've been accused of being a madman, but hear me out on this one. We always encourage customization on our antennas. And what I have done, I have delusions of grandeur that someday I'm gonna put a shorter wire on this and test it out. Right now we spec a 41 foot wire for this antenna. And so I have the ability to attach my 41 foot wire to this power pole connection. I just use one of them. And then I also, you've seen in a lot of my previous videos, I use the same radial set for a lot of my different antenna configurations that I have. And so now I can copy that same radial set over and use it with the Aries 9 to 1. For example, this is a 17 foot whip on a ground spike, and there are my ground radials. And I'm gonna steal these ground radials and put them on the Aries and get that up in the air. Let's see how this works. We've got four counterpoise going off in four different directions, and we have the coax going off in another direction, and the antenna going up into the tree. We get to do a POTA from the ham shack this time. Let me turn the radio down. We've got Polo as our logging software. We have a power meter. We have the FT100, 100 watt portable radio, 100 watt mobile radio. And we have the LDG Z100 tuner. So we're on 20 meters and we're going to start by doing some hunting. I'm gonna use the spots function built into Polo in order to hunt all of these workers here. So this is great, it's almost 90 degrees outside. I'm in the shack, I'm in the air conditioning, I'm in the park, I'm in my RV, I've got my internet connection and I am ready to activate. But like I said, this is gonna be a reverse activation. I'm gonna be a hunter activator. So 14209 is the first one on my list. I'm gonna tune down to 14209. All right, I hear somebody there. I'm gonna go down four kilohertz and run a tune cycle. I don't hear. All right, there was somebody there. I'm gonna go up a couple and run a tuning cycle. There we go. All right, tuner's happy. Listen to see if I can hear him. Not hearing anything. 14228 is the next one. Oh, I can hear both sides of that one. KM9G. Uh, had a little trouble picking something out. Just 
Kilo, Mike Nine Golf. Kilo, Mike Nine Golf. Ah, turn on the DNR on the Yezu and just let that fall down a bit. Kilo, Mike Nine Golf. Nope, that wasn't me either. I'm going to throw the park to park at him this time. Park to park, park to park, Kilo, Mike Nine Golf. Park to park, park to park. Oh, he's not hearing me at all. I must be pointed in the wrong direction. Park to park, park to park. Nope, he's not hearing me at all. Let's spin the dial. 14, 245. Can't hear him. 14, 257. We got some QRM on that one. 14, 265. Two different people are spotted on 265. I can't hear either of them. They, they probably both moved out of each other's way. 14, 296. 14, 308. 322. Well, that was a quick 10 contacts, and we got the park activated. This is the Coffee and Ham Radio's Aries antenna. Let's take a look at the log real quick. So as you can see here, we started at 1854 Zulu, and we ended at 1901 Zulu. That was a quick 10 contacts, and the contact map is pretty good. I am down here. I'm actually in Wichita Falls, which is north of Dallas, but I'm getting out into Colorado. I'm getting up into the northern mitt of Michigan, and I'm getting out to Georgia. It's good to hear somebody from Georgia today during the hurricane activity that's going on over there, and the FT100 did fantastic. I'll have another video coming up in the future comparing the coverage map on the 9 to 1 from Coffee and Ham Radios to a prototype 9 to 1 that my friend Ziggy KN4ZGY sent me. So be sure you are subscribed to the channel to see that when it comes out. But for now, that was a quick 10 contacts in the air conditioning, out of the heat, out of the sun in Texas. And I'm not even gonna take that antenna down until after dark tonight when it cools off again. Or maybe I will even wait until tomorrow to get that done. If you would like a Coffee and Ham Radio's Aries 9 to 1 antenna kit, there is a link in the description down below, along with some information on that tape measure and the throw weight and the bag that I use to get it up into the tree. This is a 41 foot antenna and you can install it either vertical or horizontal or as an inverted V or as a sloper like I have it today and put some counterpoise out and use your tuner and get on the air and have some fun. There's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.